Do you live in Texas? Do you have a small front yard with two massive trees completely shading out your yard, sending massive roots throughout, making it really hard to grow a nice lush green lawn? Well, don't worry, I got the product for you. Okay, I, I don't have the product for you. That's too bad. But it's okay, let's talk about, let's discuss things that we can do to try to fix this issue that pretty much all of us in Texas have. But if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please smash that like button. It definitely helps out a lot. And let's go ahead and get to the video. Now, having nice big shade trees is definitely good for curb appeal. I definitely do like it. And in the beginning, when they have these two small little trees growing up, it looks nice, right? But after 10 years, you have these two trees becoming absolutely massive. They're actually crowding each other up top to where this one isn't even growing as nicely. And they're just so close to each other. Our lawns here in Texas are so small that really our grass in the front yard just does not do anywhere as good. My grass in my side yard is beautiful, nice and thick, nice dark green. My grass in the backyard is doing a lot better. But every year, I seem to have major issues here in the front lawn. And I think a lot of people do. Last year, I even had yellowing in here. I was constantly having to add nitrogen fertilizer, add iron to the lawn to try to get it back to deep green. Why was that happening? That's because these roots here on these trees, because these trees are so big, pretty much my entire lawn is covered in these big roots. And I even got little bare spots that you randomly see that because there's roots poking up and it's just killing that grass there. But the big thing is those roots are just sapping all of that nutrients from my lawn, taking it for themselves. So the trees grow beautiful and big and my grass suffers. Now, in addition, because I water so much, I have everything so nice here, my trees are really nice and lush, but then they get very little sun. They allow very little sun down to my grass and that's another issue that we have so i can add a lot more fertilizer a lot more treatment to all of this but is there not a better solution so my solution that i have wait for it cut that tree down so am i crazy my wife might think so others might as well but it's okay. I really do think this is the best solution. When I look at my yard from multiple angles, this tree is just so much prettier. It's so full. I love how it actually comes out. It immediately does a nice V right here and just goes out. It's just a huge, beautiful tree shading out that other one. The other one just really isn't doing any use except for sapping nutrients from my ground. Really don't like that at all. So I'm going to suggest if you've got two big trees in your front lawn just completely killing everything, let's just take one out. Take the ugly one out and say goodbye to it. You'll have slowly a lot less roots, a lot less uh, roots going throughout your lawn, sapping that nutrients. You'll have less cover, so you have more sun being able to come down to your grass. Even This even blocks some of the rain when it comes in. Really, let's get rid of that tree. It's not hardly as pretty anyways then we'll have a lot more like the florida guys do and they're lucky having a lot more open ground here without tree roots is getting in the way of a lot better room here to where we can have nice beautiful green growth now of course i could cut this tree down myself but i am actually paying the guy to do it it's only going to be like 700 bucks so it's not a big deal and i wouldn't want to accidentally get one of those big limbs falling on my house Let's let them do that, and then it's their fault, and it's okay. So if you are going to cut your tree down, be very safe with it. But we're going to go ahead. we got to think four days from now, they're going to come cut this tree down. Then at that point, they're going to grind that stump real good. And then I have to actually get um, all of it leveled out to get sod down. So I already went ahead and actually took out everything here and dug up around here, make it nice and easy for them. So then they're going to take that and grind it. And then I'm actually going to have to try to get down in here and try to level it out just right, put sod down. Obviously, you don't have sod that's going to make a nice, perfect circle there. So you'll be able to tell a little bit. But then it'll all fill in. The biggest thing here is that I'm going to want to make sure that I level it out here where it's a little bit higher. I want to make it look beautiful like you can't actually tell there was once a tree there. So here's what it looks like now. And now, here's what it looks like. Way better. And it has been a few weeks since I shot that initial part of the video. But you see, the tree is really nice and full. Gorgeous tree. And I'm not missing any curb appeal at all by losing that one tree. 
Now, of course, less oxygen being made and all that good stuff, but I think it does look a lot better. Now, one thing to note here, sadly, they have not been able to come back and grind that stump yet. You see that it is still there. They're planning on coming back in about a week and a half, but it's okay. It still looks really good. I just got to get that grinded down, and then I'll put sod there, and it'll look a lot nicer. But all in all, the yard is already very happy with that tree gone. So I do think the lawn is already doing a lot better with that tree gone. The longer the time goes and those roots start to die out, it'll get even better and better. But we've had some really nice rains here, being the springtime, and got a lot more water on the ground there. This tree, as you saw, was really, really, um, really dense. The other one was too, but we're still getting a lot more sunshine. The grass is definitely a lot happier. I can already see a big difference. Now, really, the difference we'll see is during the summer, in the heat of the summer, when the grass really needs those nutrients, that water, everything to really uh, do well and to survive and not get all icky and yellow and brown and everything like that. But I very much appreciate you watching that video, everyone. I know you see the video is not anywhere close to being over. I've got um, some bonus footage, whatever you want to call it, of uh, the tree actually being cut down. If anybody's interested in watching that, I've got some footage upstairs, one of the bedrooms upstairs looking down on it as well. I thought it'd be kind of cool if anybody would be interested. But if you haven't yet, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps out a lot. We're getting really close to 2,000 subscribers, which... Honestly, it's super, super exciting. So let's push it there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button. I very much appreciate it. Until next time.